The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. So we really want to understand what's going on with the glaciers in Greenland. We expect the Greenland ice sheet to retreat, to melt in a warming climate, and we care about glacier retreat because it's a major contributor to sea level rise. What we've been trying to do is get measurements, uh, literally where the ice meets the ocean. So we're working in a fjord that's a few miles across, and it has this big active cabin glacier coming into it that's hundreds of meters tall. You can't take a small boat up to the front of it because big pieces of ice are constantly breaking off and falling down and coming down. It's a very you know, dangerous environment to work in. We've been using uh, several platforms. One of these is the jet yak. It looks like a regular kayak with a few bells and whistles attached to it. Essentially, it's a robot which is adapted out of a regular kayak. And it can measure the velocity of the water to about 100, 120 meters below it. Uh, we also had uh, a side scan sonar, and with this we've been able to map what the submerged part of the glacier looks like. Usually when you look at platforms like underwater robots, they cost more than the sensors. With this jet yak, they cost less than the sensors. And so that's why we can take more risks. If you want to work in areas which are either extremely turbulent or dangerous, uh, then this is a really good platform. A carving glacier is a great example. We were able to bump literally into the glacier. And so, so we're really making measurements within a few meters and we haven't been able to do this ever before. And next thing I know, somebody's talking about doing measurements of radioactivity. They're talking about doing measurements of plankton, of red tide, all these things that we never originally thought of. That's the whole nature of academic science, which is, you know, let everybody leapfrog yourself, make sure nobody's reinventing whales, give them the opportunities to really use something you've developed, and that's, that's how you make impact. To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.